90 to 100 times more space than gas. And because the permitting process for land use is so difficult, acquiring a property becomes a monumental risk. The Common Sense Department also points out that green energy is hard to store because we simply don't have enough batteries, so it's use it or lose it. And either way, the massive void is always filled by those evil fossil fuels. So gas prices going back up and rising inflation has prompted even President Biden to admit that we are facing a slight recession. Let's talk about how this administration's energy policies are affecting prices across the board with Texas Public Policy Foundation Vice President Chuck DeVore. Chuck, I want to just read this if I can, because this is from your Fox News op-ed. And it says, quoting here, Biden's anti-domestic energy policies have caused oil and natural gas producers to be wary of spending money to boost production, while big banks, woke capital restrictions are gradually starving the oil and gas sector of the money needed to drill new wells. I mean, these companies are getting the full assault from all sides. Chuck. You're absolutely correct, Trace. And because you're in California right now, you get to see what the rest of the country may see in just a few short years. I think it's really important that your viewers know that this president, President Biden, campaigned on going to war against American produced energy. They promised that's what they were going to do. In fact, in May, he said, we're going through this incredible transition, this incredible energy trans transition as if mm -hmm. it was a good thing. And Trace, they can't have it both ways. Either they have policies mm -hmm. that make it more difficult to produce American energy and push up energy prices uh, and, you know, hasten the transition to electric vehicles or... Uh, they don't. And if they don't, uh, then let's change the policies so that people can benefit from lower energy prices today. Yeah. And I know you talk to a lot of these people in the in the oil industry and you believe that prices, gas prices are about to soar even more. Why do you think that, Chuck? Well, because the president has been using the Strategic Petroleum Reserve to offset the almost the exact amount of the decline in American crude oil production. He's selling about a million barrels a day mm -hmm. out of this reserve that is supposed to be there for emergencies. It's now at the lowest level it's been since its creation. And in fact, the Chinese have been buying some of this oil to put into their own strategic petroleum reserve. And this is all going to end on election day because at that point, the utility of it will be over with. They shouldn't even call it the Strategic Petroleum Reserve anymore. Uh, he, the, Biden has transmogrified it into the Strategic Political Reserve. Hmm. Yeah, I, I just want to play this or, or read this from Bloomberg.com. It says that Biden is walking a tightrope as the world clamors for U.S. oil and gas. Going on to say, it's a delicate balance as one of the world's top producers of oil and natural gas. The U.S. is facing calls from its allies in Europe and around the globe to help ease the energy crisis. But with just weeks to go before the midterm elections, it's also under pressure to help Americans hit by price gains for everything from gasoline to food. It's, it's phenomenal that he goes to Saudi Arabia begging for oil, and people in Europe are begging him to turn the spigot back on. Well, absolutely. And of course, part of the problem with the Saudis is that the president is trying to revive the very bad Iranian nuclear deal. The Saudis feel threatened right now, and they don't feel that they have a friend in the White House. And so, yeah. therefore, they're looking out after their own interests. And insofar as our friends in Europe, it's going to be a very cold, dark winter because they, of course, went down the path of green energy. The uh, Germans retired several nuclear power plants. They retired almost all of their coal-fired facilities as well. Yep. How in the heck are they going to keep warm? With Russian natural gas? Well, they don't get that anymore. Uh, so they're importing yep. things like wood pellets from America. Yeah, I, I got to go here, Chuck, really. But I, I want to know quickly, why do you think that these oil industry people hate working on federal land? Well, because the permitting and the bureaucrats that come and look at their operations, they make one small mistake that if they were on private land, you could work things out reasonably. Let's get it fixed. But if you do it on federal land, your whole operation shuts mm. down for days and the reams of paperwork cost a lot of money and a lot of time. Yeah, it is a very difficult industry to be in right now. Chuck DeVore, great to see you as always. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Well, so follow me here.